Big news for Birmingham fans, but this has been the big story this afternoon. The Doncaster mascot, who was sacked after posing for a photo in her lingerie, will be reinstated by the club. Tracy Chandler was raising money for charity before being told that the photo shoot gave the club a bad name. But after a campaign supporting her, she will return as Donny Dog. Yesterday, when I had to give the suit back, I was were, I were absolutely gutted. Uh, I couldn't... Uh, I was going to be brave and, and say, there, there you, there's the suit, but I just burst into tears because I just thought I'm giving some, something away that I'm so passionate and I work so hard for, and I just thought I'm just passing it back. I look at it and I think it's not, it's tastefully done and I've done it for charity. The lads have done stuff like that for charity, the players, and, uh, you know, so uh, why, why shouldn't I? And, and I? and I think that the players would back me up on it as well. I got a call off John Ryan and, uh, and I went, I couldn't believe it when I heard his voice. I went, John, oh, thank God. I said, you are an hard man to get hold of. And he says, Tracy, I just don't, I just don't know what's gone off. He says, uh, you're not sacked, it's a misunderstanding. And he said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull some strings, I'm going to sort it all out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm back where I belong. Well, we can get even more on this now. We can speak to Ralph O'Neill, and he is Tracy's dad, proudly wearing the colours of Doncaster Rovers. Ralph, good evening to you. Uh, daughter Tracy says she's back where she belongs. How proud are you tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy for my daughter. I think it's been blown up totally out of proportion by somebody at the club has overstepped the mark, really. I mean, you've only got to put the television on every afternoon or night and the adverts. There's more flesh and adverts than what she was showing. You were just talking about, well, a, cle a bit of cleavage, and that's it. I mean, why, why all the fuss? I don't know. Tracy said the photograph was um, tastefully done. Do you agree with that, uh, Ralph? Yes, yes, I do. I mean, I was a bit worried when she said the Sunday sport, because, uh, you know, I've read it a couple of times and there's some stupid stories in, but she, she spoke to the editor and said that her dad was worried like and he, he says, oh no, I said, we'll do it very tastefully and they did. I must admit, it was tastefully done. It wasn't, it wasn't poor, was it? I mean, you know, she's just uh, in, her, in her underwear, you know, it's, it's not as if she was there with her, her legs open or, you know, pornographic, anything like that. It was just a bit of fun and it was for charity, a good cause. Well, it was... And it every was... time, like I say, you put the television... Uh, yes, yes, indeed, uh, Ralph, it, it was for charity, we stress that. At the end of the day, she probably won't do it again, will she? Because she wants to keep her job. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, she's her own person. I mean, uh, she's 40-year-old, uh, I mean, I know I'm a dad, but uh, she'll listen to you, but she'll do what she wants. Well... But, uh, she, does she does love what she's doing. I mean, yeah. she, she says it's a, it's a real buzz when she goes to the, the hospitals and the schools and the little and the, the players go walking in and the kiddies see her and they all rush to her because she's a cat like a cartoon character. They don't know the players and the players are changing ever so often, but they know Donny Dog. However, they don't they actually know who's in the Donny Dog, but they love Donny Dog as the mascot. Well, we certainly know who's in Donny Dog now. Most. And and thank you for oh, joining us, Ralph, true, this afternoon yes. on a day that Tracy, your daughter, has been reinstated as Donny Dog, the mascot at Doncaster Rovers. Thank you very much indeed, Ralph. OK, then, thank you. You know when dads do really embarrassing things, like yes. come on telly and talk about their daughters in certain ways? Yes. At one stage, I was breaking out oh. a cold sweat. Oh, but did you hear the dog barking in the background? I could. I don't know if that was Donny Dog. <laughs> Do you think getting back into role? I feel as if I'll be <laughs> dreaming tonight about Donny Dog, sitting bolt, up and right, uh, bolt upright in my bed <laughs> thinking of Donny Dog. And good grief. Anyway, Ralph, thanks for joining us on Sky Sports think... News this afternoon. <laughs> oh. Uh, right, <laughs> on to the biggest breaking story of the day. Uh, we were a bit worried about this one, but Donny Dog has got her job back. Now, the football mascot was sacked after taking part in, shall we just say, a rather revealing photo shoot for a Sunday newspaper, and tonight <laughs> she's been reinstated. Uh, Tracy Chandler has been the Doncaster Rovers mascot for three years, but her cheeky pictures landed her in the doghouse. Olivia Richwold has more. Don't look, Harry. Saucy or seedy, pictures like this got Tracy Chandler the sack from her voluntary job. She revealed the face and the body behind Donny Dog in a Sunday newspaper. 
Her fee went to the NSPCC, but on Monday she was sacked by email, and yesterday representatives from Doncaster Rovers turned up on her doorstep to take the costume away. I felt like I was handing over a best friend, you know, it, it really upset me. I thought, this is the end, this is it, you know, of everything I've worked for, it's, that's it, it's gone. You know, and obviously I broke down and I got really upset about it and I said, well, I'll tell you something now, I ain't going without a fight. Tracy, who's a hairdresser, has played Donnie Dog for three years and sometimes commits up to 40 hours a week to the role, all for free. <laughs> Doncaster Rovers have a history of raising money for the NSPCC and this was the players last year stripping off for a charity calendar. No surprise then when Tracy and her supporters started shouting double standards. And then an hour ago, Tracy, you got a call from the chairman, John Ryan. He says, it's one big misunderstanding, Tracy. Honestly, you're not, you're not fired. I'm sorting it all out. Don't worry. You'll be back to, back to work next week. And I, I, I just couldn't believe it. I would just... Well, it's, it was better than winning, you know, lottery to me. You know, it's just, it was just brilliant. I actually didn't know anything about it until last night, but um, uh, the, uh, one or two of the club were a bit concerned because obviously the Sunday sport and uh, a mascot design for children is not an ideal mix. We're putting it right. Mm. It, it may, maybe it was a mistake. So, a happy ending, proving every dog has its day in the limelight. Olivia Richwald, BBC Look North, Doncaster.